What's up, guys? Machete and Panda here, and I am back. We're back with Silver Run Forest. We're doing our logging. This is episode two, season three, and um, this is the new DLC. We've taken our equipment. We've brought it down the hill and began logging. I think we're going to continue doing some logging. Um, I think eventually we've got to figure out how to build that roller coaster. I see a lot of other people doing the roller coaster. That sounds kind of fun. Um, for now, I think we've got to keep on logging. That's what I think. And honestly, we've got some logs right here that need to be loaded up. Um, I think I'll do that now. Oh, this thing is slow. Um, this thing only does like 12 miles an hour. So... Yeah, we want to upgrade this as soon as possible. Um, at the moment, we've only got 110k, which seems like a lot, but goes away really fast, especially in this game. Um, oh, this guy wants us to cut deadwood. Uh, in this area, this problem with deadwood. Help the owner cut down all the deadwood trees. Each tree is already marked. You can sell them afterward. 14 and 18. All right, area 14 and area 18. Well, the areas aren't numbered around here. How do we, we have to actually activate the, that really stinks. All right, 14, 18 is not too far. So there's a, a logging, uh, well, well, lumber mill here. Um, that's 18 and 14, you guys probably see 14 before me, but here it is, 14 here. And that's really far from, we gotta go, alongside the hill down into the valley then back up the hill we can probably take these back roads to get over there a 12 12 mile an hour machine that's just too long i think we're going to keep harvesting uh cutting down our trees here logging our trees here and um yeah we'll do that and do i have to unfold this i always forget there we go look at that all right. I am so sorry, guys, that I am so bad at this. Um, so this, it has always been a problem for me running this thing. Um, any of these things, really. They just, I just don't get along with them. That's all there is to it. Um, there's no if, ands, ors, or buts, or how, how does that saying go? There's no way around it. I'm just no good with these things. All right, so can I now grab them? Oh, I think I've got them. I think I've got them. Now lift them. Oh, there we go. Okay, good, good. We want to lift them very high, very high. And then we want to probably angle them around the other way. I think they'll fit better that way. And we just got to turn it, drop it down. Oh, gosh, this is really a pain in the neck to carry. And especially not having um, not having any depth perception is really tough. Um, we want to keep bringing that in. We want to bring that all the way into here. That's maybe a little too far. And then we just want to open this. Can I just open that up? Just right there. Oh, thank you. Whew. All right, let's try that again. Uh, we've got to get a little... Well, let's grab this little one over here. I mean, before we get close to the bigger ones. I want to get those bigger ones. I'm sure they're going to bring us some prime change. And uh, that would be very good for us. So, especially considering how little cash we have. Um, just want to turn this around so it's a little bit more manageable. Why is... Oh, it's as far as it turns going that way, I guess. Oh, and I'm not going to let me turn it that way. So maybe I can put this arm further out, bring this further up, spin this over. It's not liking that for whatever reason. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That works too. We may lose it, but I don't know how I turned that off, but I somehow turned that off. And 
Oof. I I am bad. I am so sorry, guys. So this this is so much harder to do without depth perception. Um, I think a pair of Oculus goggles would go far. Um, I do not have such uh, fancy futuristic devices, Oculus goggles, um, or any other type of, you know, fancy kind of goggles. I'm kind of curious if this will pick up those big ones over there. And turn it. Oh, I guess you got to turn it the other way. Turn it the other way, because it went as far as it could that way, so. I keep accidentally turning it when I just want to pull it in. So there's this cool, cool, cool um, device that allows you to work with machines like this in video games. Um, and the cool thing about it is that it's got all kinds of levers and buttons and everything. So you're not using a mouse like I am to try and get stuff to work. You can, you know, I'm having to click left and I'm having to click right and all this stuff. You can just um, use the tools uh, on that thing. Oh, that was kind of hard to see when I did that. All right. Aim. And, um, you know, you might have a le lever tied up to, you know, making the arm do this. You might have another lever tied up to make the arm do that. And then maybe another lever to do this. We well, kind of get the point. Um, it's It seems like a really cool and good idea. Um, the only problem is I think it's extremely expensive. I think I saw one for 300 something. Um, I mean, I don't have that kind of gravy, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to save up for a nonprofit I'm starting. I'm trying to, you know, get my house renovated. I'm trying to, I don't know, a million and a half other things. So, yeah, we'll get this last log on, and then we will head over and uh, sell these logs. And I re I'm really hoping that, oh, dear me, that's too far away, isn't it? Let's strap these up before I lose them. All right, I'm just going to move this. Over here like this to get that log. Turn down. Grab. Grab it. There you go. Oh, oh wrong way. And up. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this, if you ask me. I mean, it's a pain in the neck, um, and it is not intuitive. Um, but I mean, I guess if the, your first time working one of these machines in real life is probably not too all too uh, intuitive until you actually do it. So I guess maybe it's not such a big deal. Oh gosh. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. I just, no, I don't want it to go out or in. I want it to come in. No, 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 no. I want to go down and then come in. There we go. And now I want to open that up. All right. And then hit L, L. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was a pain. What happened? Oh, I'm dragging something underneath me. I don't know what this is. Let's just throw that on there. This little twig. I can't believe this little twig is clogging up this machine. I honestly think that's a physics issue. Um, it just doesn't make sense to me that this little little twig would be clogging up the machine. This one's a little bit more hefty, but still. I don't think that would either even clog it up either. There we go. 
All right, guys, we're going to go over to the sell point. We're going to sell this, get some cash, and maybe we can upgrade this crazy, goofy machine. Um, we'll see. All right, guys, to give you an idea why I'm doing cutaways, this is it right here. This is how fast this thing moves, 12 miles an hour. And I actually don't know if this is, has 100 hours on it. I actually kind of wonder if a used one would move equally as bad. Yeah, 12 miles an hour is its top speed. All right. We'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. And we are coming up to the sell point here. And we are going to sell all this wood. Um, and hopefully get at least 3K, maybe 4K for it. Let's find out what we get. 4K. Pretty good deal. That's not bad at all. 4K. Um, this was, took so long to drive, I'm very tempted to just buy a replacement right now. Let's see what's available in the menu. Maybe I should even go to the next day and just see if this menu changes at all. You know, some of the used items change. Because it'd be great if I could get, like, a pretty good tractor, um, or even a combination. Maybe I should get a combination. What, what is this? This thing moves 12. That's not much better. This moves 12. This guy moves quite a bit faster. Um, but he can't go too deep into the woods. But we do have that. Um, we do have the tractor that pulls uh, that pulls in the, uh, this guy's way too expensive. We do have the tractor that pulls in uh, the woods. So we could have the tractor pull the wood out of the, out of the forest um to this machine and then pick things up with this machine um this machine can go pretty far into the forest i mean it's not too bad it's just a little bad but it's also 180,000. let's check what cheaper options we have first um coming over here let's go to forestry equipment again now oh, where's the forestry equipment all right and we have some cheaper options. We could put these all on tractors, which, you know, in theory could move a lot faster tractors. So um, what other loaders do we have? Oh, here's the one for 18K. It looks pretty long. I, I don't know what the length is. It doesn't say. Oh, you can have it with a, with a crane or without a... Oh, interesting. Oh, it's not 18K. It's, it's 21. It's 39,000 because of the crane. These, I think you're stuck with the crane. So this is 45K. This one looks pretty long. Look how long that looks. Does that is that actually long or does it just look long? That's the question. I've got to look these up. Give me one moment. All right, guys. So here's what I found about our choices here. Um, this choice, the M160, 19,000. This choice, which is the 144 ND and 45,000. And then this one right here, which is the P13 4272. And this guy is for 39,500. So I looked up the stats and whether they actually designed it this way in the game or not, these are the stats for these pieces of equipment in real life. Um, oddly enough, the lower one, the, uh, the German one, which is the PM uh, P13-4272, um, has a much longer length, but much lower load capacities. And the other ones have much higher high, uh, load capacities, well, except for the lifting capacity. Um, and they have uh, shorter shorter beds. So, and actually the, let's, let's show you this again. What's really interesting to me was that you can configure in real life, if this is in their brochure, this one, they can configure it to carry brush. So you can 
you can configure uh, so that there's paneling all along the sides here. Um, and it'll carry brush or it'll carry wood chips or whatever. So this one's very configurable. I'm assuming the others are, but I didn't get a chance to see their, uh, their, their brochures the way I did that one. So given all that, between these choices, I think I'm going to go for the cheapest one, $19,000, the Anderson M160. Um, I just get a feeling that the other ones just aren't worth the price um, as much at this stage in the game. Um, I just have a feeling this one's going to do it for us. So now we need a tractor. Um, that one's 19,000 and let's get a pretty good tractor. Um, what's the fastest tractor in this mid medium sized tractor range? So this goes 31, 31, 31, I think it's 24. 31 is pretty fast. And there's some that go 37 here. What was the first 37? This one is the first 37. And it is way out of our price range. So let's go back over here. Um, they're all out of our price range, except this one. We could afford this one. It does go faster. And it's in our price range. What's this? Oh, that's the um, detects your nitrogen levels, and I, we don't need that. Um, and this guy's not too bad either. Uh, goes 24. They both go 24. This guy's five miles an hour faster. And near, do they have wide tires with weights? I guess they don't have wide tires with weights. Oh. So we could get this guy. Um, He's got a front PTO. This guy does not have a front PTO. I think we're going to get this guy. Um, he's a little bit more. And we're going to have to take a loan, which I really don't want to do. Let's check out the small tractors real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I just don't want to take out a loan. That's all there is to it. I just don't want to take out a loan. I hate me if you want, but I don't want to take out a loan. Hmm. So 31's the fastest that they go. Here's the one that we have now, this guy right here. 140 horsepower. And what are these configurable up to? I want to see if I can hit 200 horsepower. That was once I saw 175. There's 200 right here. This guy goes to up to 200, but he is once again too expensive. Um, which really stinks. And I have some mods in here. Are these guys any cheaper? They are cheaper, but they are way underpowered. So underpowered. Um, this guy's not too bad compared to this guy, who is also cheap. 140. Yeah, this, this guy's more powerful. We have one of these tractors now. Um, I don't want to have to unload and reload the... Um, the winch. So I really feel like I want to get this. Is it a fender? What's the fender doing for us? Oh, okay. I don't think we need a fender. I'm not really sure we need a front weight either. Um, put little beacons on. That's funny. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of those buttons. Options. Ooh, wide tires. That that we might want to do. All right, we have a plan. We're going to get this in combination with, and we should have money because we're going to sell that other one. So we should have some money, but we're going to have in combination with this, this guy right here. Maybe we're making a big mistake. I don't think we are, but let's find out. All right, so let's get this old putter over here. And... Uh, that's not our equipment. Our equipment is back in town. That's right. Back in town. I've got to drive this thing back into town to get to the shop. Um, we'll be back in a moment. All right, guys. We're almost here. We're almost here. So we are going to turn in this guy. Let's real quick check how long the bed is on this old putter. 
it should have a slightly longer bed. It doesn't seem to have a slightly longer bed. I don't think it does. So, this is it, guys. We're pulling the trigger. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. And hello. And connect this up. Oh, look at this. Doesn't it feel like we're going so much faster now? I mean, even though we're only going 21 miles an hour, it's nearly twice the speed. All right. Well, we're almost here, guys. There we go. Okay, good deal. Um, let's get back to cutting some trees and let's set ourselves up properly this time. We're going to set the carrier right here. All right, and then we're going to set the winch. right next to it and the goal being that the winch is going to pull the logs up and then the carrier is going to load them on and i just don't know how far we can pull the logs up we may have to whoops how far does the winch go Wow, the winch goes pretty far. Wow, look how far the winch goes. This is awesome. All right, we got some good length of the winch. All right. Let's start cutting down some logs, making some more money. What do you say? It's down for that. Turn on the harvester here. And then let's start with this tree right here. I love that O button. The O button allow, will automatically can find a tree for you. Mm, lift X. That is that's that's kind of dicey looking. That's kind of dicey looking. X. And cut. X. And cut. I think we're taking trees on that this that this little tree feller. Thrasher, as they call him. Um, this fell thrasher is not designed to carry this, I don't think. So. I mean, that's that's I think that's going to load that wagon up right there. So, let's test our little experiment out here. Here we go. We're going to do um, B, R, B, R, B, R, B. You can only attach four at a time at the most. So, and then let's just pull it in. Oh, it's control K. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's just pull them on over. Pull them right on over. This is working out great, guys. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. All right, now detach from the trees. And now we can load it on. Great. All right, let's see if this thing's 1,300 pounds because uh, this is all this little guy can carry. Oh, you, can, you should be able to extend. You should be able to extend these little arms down here. Um, do you have to be in the cab in order to extend the little arms so that it doesn't tip over? Um, cruise control, fasten, unfasten. Ah, maybe you don't have to. 
Stuck camera, select next tool. Hmm. I don't I don't know how to uh, extend the uh All right, we'll deal. We'll just have to deal, guys. So, I don't know how to extend the braces. Those little things on the side here. I just don't know how to do it. Whoa, it's handling this rather well. I mean, that's good for us, you know? Let's go the other way. And down. And in a little. And then open up. Oh, that's perfect. Great. Float up the next one. Spin her over. Twist the hand. I'm really getting the hang of this. I'm, I'm feeling much more confident with this machine. I mean, it's still a little finicky here. I don't think I can pick up two at a time. Let's see what happens. Oh, picked up one. We barely picked up one. That that thing's ready. Let's be very careful here. That thing's ready to fall right down. Boom, boom. And open. Great. Let's get back over here come down, pick this guy up. Bop. Bop. Oops. Wrong thing. Doing all kinds of crazy stuff, guys. I'm sorry. There. Spinner. Bring her down. There we go. Awesome. Now, can we get this one that's, like, super close to the tractor? It just looks like it's going to be too close, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, maybe I just have to... Maybe I can grab it out here and I can pull it away and then, and then get my grip on it properly. All right, let's first see what it does when I pull it all the way up. It's just not going to work. Unload. There we go. All right. And then now let's come in a little, over a little, turn. Actually, I want to go out just ever so slightly. Down. Down. Like, man. He says, Machete Panda says he's getting the hang of it, but he is just horrible. So, I, I know, I know, it just, it's just really hard for me. Oh. See, this is, this is where your, uh, this is where your OCD kicks in and you're like, I really want that log nice and straight with the rest of the pile. And you really should just leave the log go, because all of the logs are probably going to fall out if you do that. But you just have a need to have it nice and neat on the pile. Out. Let's get it over a little there. There we go. And open that up. There. Perfect. Nice. Can we pick this little guy? This guy's little. Great. We can pick him up. And I doubt we can pick the next little one up. I just have my doubts about that. So let's see here. This guy. Can we pick this guy up? <gasps> Whoa. Wait. I want to make sure super strength is not on. This is not... I don't want super strength on right now. This one we should not be able to pick up. Okay, good. 
Oof. I was worried super strength is on. Because if it was on, that would basically mess up this entire game. Um, which is no good. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Yep. Oh, oh, out, down, grab. Oh, 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 oh. Up. I, I just can't believe this thing's not tipping. This little wagon's amazing. It's just not, it just doesn't want to tip. It refuses to tip, which is great. I don't want it to tip. So this is fantastic. I'm happy. I'm happy. The little wagon's obviously happy because it's not tipping. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong button. Wrong button. Yes. All right, do you think we can fit more trees on here? I think we can fit more trees on here. All right, let's grab another tree. Um, let's grab that one right there. Look at this one. It's over here. It's just staring at us. It's saying, please take me. Please take me. Can we not take this tree? Oh, we can take this tree. I thought for a second we could not take Some trees, this machine will not cut. So... Those are obviously problematic, those trees. All right. What was that sound? Jeez, this thing sounds like a bucket. Yikes. All right, let's start off with the larger logs. I really want to pack that machine back there. Oh, there's only four anyway. I really want to pack that machine back there um, real good, you know? And the reason for that is because I really want to test it, see how far it can go, how far we can take the thing, you know? All right. Pull him on over. Pull him over to the crane. Let's see, this is what I mean by the physics are messed up. It's sliding like it's on ice. That's not how a, a log has a lot of friction. A lot of friction. <sighs> and it's amazing. So I was using a, uh, a skid steer. Um, which is the one that drags the logs behind. And uh, I mean the weight that these, it was a small, small, like smaller than these tractors gets here. Um, but the, the weight that they can take is amazing. Just by letting one half of the log rest on the ground as it pulls the other half, it's quite a lot of weight. Um, I mean, maybe we'll look at some videos sometime together. But, um, oh no! Just by letting what the one part of a log like rest on one. Um, what's wrong? What is this? What is this thing not like? What does this thing not like? down and clamp it's so hard to tell where it's at all right let's go for this bigger log because i think this bigger log is getting in my way you know just getting in my way all right i think i've got it I don't have it. But it did pull away the log from the other ones.
Oh, finally. All right. This does not make for good YouTube. I'm sorry, guys. This does not make for good YouTube. Ah. Oh. All right. Okay. Let's just get this in position. Let's pull the arm in ever so slightly. Let's get the arm down. Pull the arm out. We don't want to turn it. We just want to put it out. And then we want to put it down even more. And... Get this over. And... One, two... Yes! Alright. Let's see if we can get this big one on. Let's latch those down too. Last thing I want is... I've had it, I've accidentally knocked over these things, and then the logs go everywhere. And then after all this work, you're just so defeated, you just go to bed. It's like, you know what? It just took so long to get these logs in here. I will say this though, um, it's working a lot better than FS19 was. I don't know what that was. What was that about just now? I don't know why that was doing that, but I'm just going to drop it and try again because I didn't like how shady it looked, you know? See, this is where you got to go in multiple angles, make sure you see everything in the right light, so to speak. Just pull this over. Spin her around, pull it over, spin her around, pull it in a little, put it down a little. And then just let go. Oh, great. I, I don't think we can get this last one on. I'm going to try, but I don't think we can get this last one on. Yeah. This is, this is going to be hard, you know, because of all of the logs we have here. But you know what? Oh, deer! Look at the deer over there by the, by the, by the truck. Truck. By the fell thrasher. All right. That's pretty cool. I'd like to see more animals start to get into like predators it might be a little less fun <laughs> it's a farming simulator and you're running away from bears and all that stuff so that's no fun oh we got it we got it all right let's get out let's sell these two trees we got two full wait we got completely got them right yet yeah, we did let's go sell these puppies Hey, yeah. I just, I forgot to fold it. It's kind of funny that you. Oh my God. 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 How do I get out of this mess, guys? Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, that was close. Okay, luckily we had that arm. Luckily we, no, 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 up, 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 out of the way. Don't hit those logs. All right, we're gonna stop playing with the arm. Um, okay, we gotta go a lot slower around corners. I got this thing because I didn't want to go slow, but I'm realizing that certain areas we have to go slower. And I wonder how the gigantic truck would handle that $180,000 truck. I mean, this setup is already pretty high. For, I mean, like, we, we had to buy the tractor. We had to buy the, um, the, the carriage. But we've got two tractors now, so. 
you know, all comes out in the wash. We'll sell these and hopefully we'll uh, make a little money, you know. Now what I want to do is I want to go back over to the iron mine and see how much iron is there. Because there's supposedly going to be a lot of iron over there, so... All right. I am hoping we get 9K for all this. $9,000 would be nice. Almost 10. Pretty good. All right, guys. So I think, um, you know what? We'll check the mines real quick, and then we'll stop here. And, uh... Yeah, so let's just tab over to the mines. While it saves its content. Oh, look at that. There's a lot more uh, ore, iron ore over here now. That's one way to see underneath the, to see where you're driving. Just raise the plow all the way up, you know? Let's check that question mark over there really quick. I actually want to catch up on how this iron mine works. I'm just going to dump a little bit more of this stuff into the, into the truck here because um, I just don't want to risk that it gets full. Cause that, when it gets full, it... Oh, oh, I wasn't lined up with the truck. That's what I mean by the depth perception thing. So, I don't know what happens when it gets gets full. Like, does the mine stop producing? Like, I just, I don't know. And I'd rather not find out, so. All right, we got a couple loads in there. That's good. And let's get out of the truck, and let's go check out this question mark. A new production building. This mine shaft will help you expand your production chain. The mine is working permanently and cannot be purchased. The iron ore is collected in a heap next to it that everyone has access to. The iron ore can be refined further at an iron furnace. This produces metal, which can be used in other products. All right. Um, there's an actual opening in here, which is kind of interesting. Oh, do you think that there's any uh, collectibles in here? I'll bet you there's a collectible at the top of that. If I was a developer, I'd be like, and now it's putting collectibles? Oh, I'll check later. But um, yeah, so we have to take this stuff to an iron furnace. Do you guys know where that is on the map? I doubt that's gonna be an iron furnace. There's a gas station. There's that, there's uh, something else. No, no. Barrel factory, shingle factory, gas station. That's the roller coaster. Oh, you can build a boat too. I remember that you can build a boat as well. Fire department, vintage clothes. Where's the iron mine? Paper factory. Where's the iron mine? I mean, the, the iron refinery, the iron works. Hmm. Let's find iron and then find out where, what the name of the building is, and then we'll mark it on the map. So, got a wood chips. It should be, I would expect it in here, the iron, huh. Wood chips, potatoes, straw, so on and so forth. It'd be nice if there's like a little search icon. You could just click there and then I could actually search for it. So there it is, iron ore. There's no selling point available. So you just have to deliver it, I guess. We'll find out later. All right, guys, we're going to stop there. I'm sorry for taking up that time at the end there, but yeah, just. Kind of wanted to figure this production chain out. Thank you for your time, guys. I am Machete Panda. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.